Okay, some of you didn't hear the words about the, the signs. Casey. Casey. You know, there you go. Right. They are slow. Must be snowing outside. So I'm Jay Doyle. I'm the president here at St. James uh, Healthcare. And today we're here to really discuss I-185 and more importantly, Medicaid expansion. It is probably the single most important legislation that's going to go through the state this year. It is paramount that St. James, Southwest Montana Community Health Center and Butte Silver Bow Public Health Department and Montana Medical Association, who's in the back, take up the banner to advocate for the well-being of those in our community in the state of Montana. Our organizations know that improved overall health of our fellow Montanans lead to stronger and more unified communities. I-185 places a tax on tobacco and e-cigarette products and helps over 100,000 Montanans keep their health insurance coverage through Medicaid expansion. In Butte Silver Bow alone, it's 11.5% of our community and approximately 4,000 of our friends and neighbors on Medicaid expansion. By maintaining this coverage, members of our communities will be able to continue their basic checkups and preventative care, improving their overall health and in turn strengthening the bonds among those who call themselves residents of the big state, big sky state. As you may know, healthcare organizations across Montana have come together to voice their support for I-185. <clears throat> St. James is very proud to stand here today with Governor Bullock and our friends at Southwest Montana Community Health Center, Butte Silver Bow Public Health Department, and the Montana Medical Association in support of Healthy Montana's campaign and I-185. Today you'll hear first from Dr. Uh, Tom Afiero, who's our Chief Medical Officer here at St. James, who will spotlight physicians' concerns about Montana's residents' access to care and the complications that can arise when people choose not to seek care. Secondly, it will be followed by Dr. Shawna Yates from the Southwest Montana Community Health Center who can give you more detail on the health impacts of smoking and how it affects adults and children. For those interested in the importance of tobacco prevention, we'll ask Karen Sullivan, the director of the Butte Silver Bow Public Health Department, to discuss the strategies that are being currently used in our community. She will then be followed by Governor Steve Bullock, who will speak to the funding of I-185 and how the tobacco industry is aggressively opposing this initiative. It is, a, it is this strong and unified sense of community that will help us build a stronger and healthier Montana. 